What's going on, everybody? It was at the J and J All Star Louisville show today. You can see picked up a lot. Um, four different dealers out there. Some stuff will go off to be graded. Um, overall, good show. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of dealers there, but there was also a lot of shows going on. Plus, we have the Kentucky State Fair going on. So, a lot of different reasons probably people did not show up um, as dealers this time. There was a lot of foot traffic. I will say that. Luckily, I got there very early, about 40 minutes before the show opened up, so I was able to hit some tables early because there were guys just buying everything in there. Anything they get their hands on that they could work into some big bulk deal, they were doing it. So let's go over some of the stuff I picked up. So first one, um, there's no, I should say there's no uh, video footage from today. It just was not anything I would want to really like display you guys haven't probably seen 10,000 times and at the same time frame just with the bare tables and the way stuff was it just wouldn't have really looked like a really presentable show with what I picked up all right up first tops chrome Lubob uh, 25 future stars let's send that one off to be graded um, should be a good nine maybe ten. Paul Goldschmidt, Sterling, 8 out of 10. These have been doing $90 to $100. I like the Sterling product. Very expensive. Wouldn't want to open myself up. 49ers, Ronnie Lott Auto from Select. Very, very cheap autos here coming up. Well, not all. Some Ritter, Spectras, Monumentals. I think one's 50, one's out of 60. You know, 60 and 75. I lied. I lied. 60 out of 75. All right. The other football for us people in England. Henry Kane out of 75. Starting to pick up some soccer just for myself in case soccer ever does pick back up. This stuff is so cheap. A lot of this stuff now. Out of 75. Ansu Fati. Obsidians out of 75 too. Pick up Broha. Um, I don't know how well he'll do, but this stuff is just, like I said, it used to be a lot more, and now it's just, like, very, very cheap. So you got the Obsidian here. This was out of, yeah, 75. And then the Blue Select, R or not RPA, but Patch Auto. Wow, I really thought this was numbered. I guess I must not have saw that. But it's not numbered. But anyhow, Chelsea... Um, always a team a lot of people like, so figured I'd get this for soccer in the future. Tops Merlin Fati. This is numbered out of seven. Wow, they're all a lot of this out of 75. Uh, threw this in just to Raleigh Fingers. They go like 15 to 25 dollars, but it's out of uh, Tops Chrome Black, numbered out of 99. Hall of Famer. This is still sealed. Believe it or not, Pedri stuff has dropped. I know, it's foosball. These used to be like over $100 cards. Last sold on this, $44. Now, it wasn't sealed the last one. This one's still sealed. I'm debating on cracking and sending it maybe later on. But that was all off of one dealer. Let me move my stack back over here so I don't knock stuff over. Hmm... That was the first. Actually, I'm going to go right down the deals. And well, yeah, we'll go down the deals in order. That was the first deal. This was the second one. These were kind of like throw ins. My idea was this one centering, so they're probably going to get a nine, but that should make this one a 10 in my eyes. So I'm hoping I could 10 one of these. I got these very, very cheap. These are selling on average at like 20 bucks. I mean, honestly, I didn't even pay 20 for the pair, so. <laughs> A.J. Brown, turn of the century, out of 75. I believe this was from the rookie year, 2019. There was no rookie card logo or anything. on. Oh, I got a piece of string on this somehow. Well, it's definitely not on that. What the heck's it on? I'm going crazy here. Oh, it was right there on the outside of the case. Ah! Let me get it back in here properly so I don't pinch it. 
But it's out of uh, 75. Well, Saquon Barkley, Don Russ, Dominator out of 25. Well, I, I, I purposely tried to buy football today for you. I know we had some football, but this is football. Pretty nice card. And then this here, I figured out these original tags. These were all cards that never made it out that they put back into, like, honors and stuff. But a Peyton Manning. Weird thing on this card, they're everywhere from, like, 2 to 250-ish. Averaging around 220 a pop onto it. So basically, I did a deal for this where I had to pay a little bit stronger, not comps. And I got to rest this stuff at really cheap price. Um, guy was There was another guy was there. I was trying to pick up more, and he pretty much just grabbed the guy the rest of his table up. Um, good deals, though, today. Good deals. So then I started walking around. There wasn't a whole lot there. There was some nice vintage, but again, just way too overpriced. Um, and I had to get to the Fort Knox post office today, too, to pick up and drop off. But I knew I could find stuff at this guy's table. He always has a lot of stuff. 2017 Joe Montana NT Patch Auto out of 25. These go around two and a quarter, I believe, if I remember right. Pick this up just because he gave me a hell of a deal on it. Kenny Pickett, um... Nine Don Russ Elite Pen Pals Auto. You guys know I got the 10 of this already. The nines are doing 210 last sale. 210. And they're averaging strongly to 200 mark. And then I picked this up. It's 2012 certified Russell Wilson. Now, there is nine on corners on this. But 2012, I mean, if he becomes anything crazy, this is rookie, not 10 on the auto out of 499. This may go back up to, you know, being a $400 card eventually. I don't know. This is one of them ones I buy and I know, like, hey, it shouldn't go down a whole lot unless he does something stupid. And I just pick it up to hold. So, pretty cool to find that there. You don't see a whole lot of stuff like this at shows and he just threw it out. I was trying to get him let me come behind his table because he had stuff he didn't put out. But then when I, he told me who the players were, I understood why he didn't because... They're just cheap now, like Morant, Zion. Um, oh, gosh, I'm trying to remember football-wise. There was... Um, oh, it's not going to hit me right now off the top of my head. But it were just stuff that, because of being where it's at now, they were just not... You know, you don't want to put it out. You want to wait till the season starts. Last deal of the day, where I spent most of my money, honestly, at. And you'll see why. Peyton Manning. Now, I had to look at this because you see these white marks here. This is kind of common on these. This has a little bit more white onto it. These are all over the place, anywhere from $80 to $140. Um, cool looking patch piece onto it, kind of like the cut signature look onto it from 2000. I think it's 03. Yeah, 2003 upper deck signature patches. And trust me, Manning stuff where I'm at is usually really, really high. These guys actually gave me good deals. He had other Manning stuff, but I kind of like the upper deck stuff more. I guess you can say I was an upper deck snob back in the day. Um, Leaf Limited, Dan Marino Auto out of 50. The out of 25, I think, did 140. So this is probably about a buck 20, buck 25. But again, this is just older pieces. 2004, Don Russ made it back then. Leaf Limited got a little piece of the uh, patch. It's a piece of jersey, was cut from an authentic jersey worn. By Dan Marino in an official NFL game. I love seeing stuff like that. John Elway. He gave me a good deal on this too. In the deal it's out of 25. The last sold 250. Um, I had to get something lower. Like I said these three here were really low. Because I picked this up at pretty much market value. Um, guys know me and pick it. Panini one. Not cut. You guys could see that white mark on there. Something new. I didn't notice that till uh, had to show because I had to look to make sure it wasn't tampered with. Can't really get the thing to focus, but there's like a white uh, thing on there now. But the SSL 35 last one did like 440 onto it. But 19 out of 35 looks really decently centered. If I would want to grade it down the road, but I told you guys I wanted to get more of the like the RPA type of the Panini one, but I definitely like these. This style here, the day ones, rookies, 
Really cool piece, though, to pick up at the end for Kenny Pickett. So, did pretty well overall. Really happy with what I found to show. Normally, I'm like, you know, with some of these shows I go to, I'm scratching to find stuff that I like and I can move. Uh, whatever it may be, a lot of this stuff, I can tell you, will probably be gone by next, by, by Labor Day itself. Um, just because I know there's people out there looking for this stuff. And occasionally when you run across stuff like this, especially like the picket for me, you know, boom, but like, Manning Auto's out where I'm at because we're close to India at a decent price. Uh, John Elway Auto, um, Dan Marino, cool Russell Wilson, the Montana NT from old school. Uh, I just can't really ever pass this stuff up, especially getting soccer as cheap as it is now. If you guys are into soccer or football, um, I, maybe you guys could put down in the comments. I'm kind of curious. Why is a lot of the soccer just dipped? Is it because there's really nothing going on and Messi now plays MLS? I mean, I have no idea. But I just know there's a lot of soccer people out there. Really in Louisville, there's not a whole lot um, that I've seen it like really get into. It. Maybe a couple guys here and there, but it's not always at every table out there. Like you would see baseball, football, and basketball. It's kind of like a hockey thing. You don't see a whole lot of hockey out here. But just curious if you guys know the same thing with soccer, get into it a lot, why stuff's dipping so much. But other than that, guys, appreciate it as always to uh, Jeff, who runs JJ All-Star. Thank you again for always having me. Let me come in a few minutes early, not giving me the boot up there, just because I got to get in and get out a lot of times, uh, just because I got other stuff going on. Um, dealers brought to some stuff up there. Like I said, four different dealers this time. Picked up a good, healthy chunk of stuff here. Uh, some stuff for PC, some stuff for grading, some stuff to hold, some stuff just to move. But we're really happy overall with the show. Other than that, guys, take care. Have a good one. I will not have another show until I'm set up on September 9th, and that'll be back at a Derby City Cars show. So had to restock after the last show. Uh, thankfully, PSA and stuff's come in. But keep a lookout. I have a mail day, not a whole lot with it um, coming up. And then a PSA order will be coming in Monday, so that video will be coming out too this week. All right, guys, take care. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. I'm out.